Hello there, and welcome back to Ears to the East, where it is I, it is Benedict from Reactor Mat, and is the one and only Neon Reaper of the Neon Reaper Reacts channel. Why the big intro? Well, because today we're going to be having a little bit more of a I think a fairly casual conversation. We wanted to catch up on, we've been doing like interviews with old Mr. B, we've been talking about so many specific subjects, and I thought, let's just catch up on some of the music that we've all been enjoying recently. Uh, yeah, mu new music's come out. And uh, let's start with really the one that Benedict brought this up just as we were loading up chat. He mentioned about, there was the new, well, the latest song at time recording, the Hannah Beer song. Uh, it's already a month old, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's about a month old now, but um, Girls Talk, uh, we, we talked about that briefly when old Mr. B was on the channel. <laughs> I didn't I like the video defense. very much. <laughs> yeah, I had to go into defense mode because, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, it was, yeah, was a big topic, was the outfits they're wearing in the video, <clears throat> but uh, we wanted to talk a bit more about the music today, I think. <laughs> yeah, now, now old Mr. B's not here, we can talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know why you guys are laughing. He'll be watching. <laughs> he knows we're just making fun. Yeah. Well, I does, see, he, I, does he know? I, I'm going to put a, a quick like disclaimer here that um, me and old Mr. B, we did a follow-up conversation. It was a few hours long. It will be coming out soon on one of my channels where we absolutely tore into each other about our opinions. It's one of the most wonderful just full-on fight conversations you've ever had and it was an absolute joy so um, I will be looking forward to posting that but now that we don't have him here to argue with our always correct opinions <laughs> what did we think about um girls talk in all honesty um I gotta say I really liked it but I do see it as very much being on one side of their catalog rather than being like synonymous with oh this is the Hannah Beer sound yeah, I kind of agree. It's uh, I kind of just remember that song, and that's a bit telling in my opinion because I didn't come back to this song a lot. I do like it, but it's like you said, it doesn't have that leans very far to one specific style, and which is not actually the thing that I love Hanabi for. That's why I think I don't like the song so much. But I also think it's kind of feels more. I don't know. Their typical style is pretty wild, crazy, mixing, throwing everything together in a blend up kind of. Um, and this kind of felt more focused, in my opinion. Like they were trying to maybe focus down a bit on one specific aspect and not just throw everything in a blender. You know what I mean? Not to say that's a bad thing. That's why I love Hanabi, but yeah. I, it's. It's interesting because in the same way that I feel about most of the things regarding this song, it's a little bit of a dichotomy because I both know what you mean and I, I agree and I disagree at the same time in that, yes, it depends what you're comparing it to. So, for example, I would say that this is maybe a little bit more focused than something like We Love Sweets, but I still think it very much plays to Hannah Beer's strong point of being a... A combination of different styles. I mean, it, it focuses on having a so, sort of a dancey beat underneath it, but it still has the metal, you know, the punch of the metal screams is just as powerful as ever. Um, it still has like uh, the bits where it gets a little bit more rocky. Um, the fact that the, the balance between Yukina and Matsuri's vocals is more even in this song than a lot of other ones for me is a massive benefit. I would say that all leans towards it actually being one of their more um one of their songs that feels like it's com combining more um so hmm. i would say in that aspect it works but i can't help but also say that i know that it maybe is leaning away from the metal which is what their core fan, fan base want and we've been saying this for over a year on this channel that we love hannah beer for having this mix of styles but i'm aware that a lot of people want them to mix styles so long as metal is the most important one so just a quick question in response to that benedict um, how would you say this compares to a song like Toso, which was, you know, Yukina vocal pretty much start to end. I mean, that was a song that I think you and a lot of people liked. I would say that it's, it works for the core fan base, but I don't think it, for me, but that's I do one like, that... Yeah, I do like Toso, but it's also not one of my favorite songs by them. I will admit, admit that because, um, yeah. 
it's it's difficult to to put the finger on it but those a lot of songs in the new album especially the four singles they have kind of a i don't know a, a bit of a different vibe to it which yeah i'm not really sure how i can explain that but you, maybe we should like give of... neon a chance yeah i mean in his opinions but yeah it's, it's hard to tell, looks but like I would, he's happy I would... not having an opinion on this <laughs> I'm I'm listening to yours. Yeah. I would kind of say yeah. they are on a same, yeah, kind of on a same level for me. Well, well, I mean, I, I feel like I'm the other one out here because everybody's been dissing that song. I, I actually really like. <laughs> I, I, Do you mean Girls Talk or Tulsa? Yeah, well, wait, which song are you talking about? Because I think we're Girls neither are dissing either song. Girls Talk. Um, I mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I quite liked it. I think the variation in that song is is what appeals to me but then but then again i know that i'm like individually kind of a weird person if I, well if I ho that. hold up hold up i, I don't know That's sometimes me. we get this where i don't know if you really actually listen to what i said or whether i express myself properly like girls talk i really like it but i'm aware it's more in my area of the sound like i like it because for me it combines sounds more evenly so i actually agree with you you're not alone it's benedict who's the odd one out here now <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually, fine with I, that. <laughs> I, I I must say actually I kind of agree with you. Uh, part I agree with you theoretically, Benedict. And I think that I think that you could say Toso and Girls Talk both could be argued to have the same benefits and disadvantages, and that both of them seem to lean more towards one side of the Hanabia sound. Yeah. I, I'm I being quiet anymore. Too, too. <laughs> just, just so you know, I, I do occasionally do that. I, 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 I yeah, we're like me, me and Benedict are all like, we're waiting for how to talk. We're like, yeah, it's like, is he lagging again? Yeah, is he lagging? <laughs> like, we, we just presume he's lagging when he's quiet. So we're so like, oh, he's in there, Thomas. We got Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I. I I, I quite like the fact that they go from one area to the other. I, I do feel like like longevity style. Um, they, they're going to have to pick a cause genre, I, I feel, at some point. Whether or not they go in like a more poppy direction or a more metal direction. Uh, because, again... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I do feel like if you go too far one way too often or not one way enough, it's a very hard act. To, it's a really hard balance and act. Because the more poppy you go, you're going to alienate your metal fans. The more metal you go, you're going to alienate your poppy fans. And if you do a bit of both too much, you kind True, of alienate... They kind of invented their own genre with Harajuku I... core. So I... it would be weird to me for me to, when they say, okay, we will do metal core now because that's not Harajuku core. <sighs> True. It, the, the sun rise with Hanabiya, though, is because they, they led more into the metal recently obviously had to be have been around for a while but the their main kind of like breakout sort of success and correct me if i'm wrong here is all I, i'd like to hear your opinions was because they leaned more into the metal aspect and picked up a metal following um i okay. think i'm not sure if i agree on that because to me even their very first ep it's really metal and i would say more even that over the time they added more craziness to it with all kinds of synth electronic stuff and all that i mean they I also feel... have that from the beginning but i feel it's gotten more i feel like every single facet has been pushed more to be more and more extreme um yeah. and you know in the way that i guess if you wanted the comparison the the, the the harajuku fashion it's all about extreme colors and extreme looks and i get the feeling that um although i don't like this thing of just inventing more genres we've got enough genres but if you're going to define harajuku um core then it could be like in the same way that the fashion is all about extremes the um the the music is all about taking every single genre facet and pushing it to its extreme so for me when i hear something like uh toso i like the fact that it's a hannah beer song you can see them having fun but it doesn't feel like the harajuku core because i feel like it's one thing to the extreme but then when i hear of songs where they mix multiple styles so i mean I guess the comparison, and I wonder if this is what Neon is maybe alluding to, is when we look to um, when we look to like Babe Metal. Babe Metal started off as a, a comparison, well, a, a beautiful combination of J-pop and really idol pop combined with metal. Um, but the reason they got so much longevity is that they did eventually lean into the metal sound. However, I think that was kind of unique to them because they weren't a band. 
they kind of needed to get that legitimacy of the metal sound. They needed to have Kami band. They needed to have all that stuff to say, look, we are. And I would say like that. also their first album, it's kind of their most metal. And then they started to add and infuse more different things. You know, can you, can you agree though, that that first album could have been a flash in the pan, but they needed road of resistance to, sorry, metal resistance. They needed metal resistance to cement a sense of uh legitimacy of like we're a legit metal act you know it's yes. like okay we're three girls we sing we dance but we have kami band we care about like you know we care about metal because you know look i am a pop person i love pop but metal is great as well and when you have metal metal purists want to see a band they want to see that you respect the genre um Uh, but I don't think it's so a basic. The point I was going to say is that although I think that might be true, I don't think Hannah Beer have to like address that hurdle because they're a band. They've like arrived on the scene combining styles, but there's never been any question about their legitimacy as a metal group. There's never been any uh, legitimacy about legitimacy about their question as a, a genre fusion group. I actually don't think. Whereas Babe Metal had to secure their future by like cementing a fan base and proving they were legit. I don't think Hannah Beer have to prove they're legit. I think it's kind of like baked into what they are. I think that's, I think that's diff uh, testament of different times, though. I think if Hannah Beer really existed 10 years ago, I think we might be having yeah. a different conversation. Um, I, feel like, I, feel, I feel like it's a lot more easy now for, for acts to combine. I, we, we've got into this period now with the more like Western bands like Electric Cowboy, for instance, that combine like dance and metal. Um, there's a lot bring me the horizon and then obviously you've got like bands obviously in japan that, that love to do that as well 10 years ago it wasn't really the case um i think opinions and perception of, of combining metal with other genres has definitely softened i think over the last 10 years yeah you um, know I, i can see all your points but to me it's more like for example If we take Broken by the Scream, for example, I know the group that Howard loves so much. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Broken by the Scream actually recently. But like Broken by the Scream, the thing I love about the group is that they go so extremely into all the different elements that they are doing. It's exactly the opposite that they kind of even try to avoid to make it coherent in a way, if you know what I mean. It's always when they go metal, they go really extremely heavy with the brutal most brutal of brutal and then they do the funky stuff and it's actually extremely funky and they don't blend it together to do like a balanced metal funk thing all the time and that's kind of the thing that i was loving about hanabi and i feel that girls talk is moving away from a little bit and also I... songs like toso also kind of i think that's you an interesting I mean? comparison no, i think that is an interesting comparison because i know what you mean it's like sometimes Basically, the way I've described it before is you want like the changes and the variation to be as extreme as possible. So it really hits you, but you want it to be like a roller coaster that you can follow where all the twists and turns, they shake you about, but you stay in the carriage rather than a roller coaster where you just feel like you hit a brick wall and everyone's crashed. Um, I know what you mean. You want to have as much variation, but you want it to sound like it works together. Um, but that's I kind mean, of what I've known this group for. And that's well, kind of why I love the group for this aspect. It's interesting you mentioned that comparison because I actually think Hannah Beer and Broken by the Scream is a perfect comparison because the comparison I always make with that, and admittedly I'm not as upset on Broken by the Scream, but the reason I stopped listening to them is because for me, like the changes were not, they weren't jarring in an enjoyable way. It was just like, oh, oh yeah, this doesn't add up. It's like this, it, it wasn't like a prog rock or it wasn't like anything extreme. It was just like, yeah. You I just, can understand like, anyone who feels, feels that like way. It feels like someone's like got a, a, an old AFM tuner or an AM tuner and it's between two radio stations and the metal and the kind pop of, station yeah. at the same time, but they're not on the same time. Um, you know, so, but Hannah Beer for me, Like, I agree, like, when it works, it's great, but you want the extreme changes, because if you can do all those changes, why not make them as insane as possible? The Sokoninaru do that. Um, I also feel I that's kind of something that makes them unique, because other mm. the, otherwise they will just be another group that does a certain style that's not but, their unique style. I still think Girls Talk was easily within the bracket where we could say, that is some cool variation it does some cool unexpected things it's more than most bands would even dare touch is yeah. it like is it in the usual hanabio area of experimentation maybe not but i still think it's enough um if it was indicative of an ongoing change which i think is what you've maybe presented some concern yeah. about 
then yeah then maybe i'll have to think about that more i don't think i really noticed that but uh, maybe 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 that's on me to look at that a little bit closer but we i would have to see with their next releases and stuff but to yeah. me i had that feeling already with their latest album for yeah, yeah quite a few songs and if that's the way they will continue to go i'm not sure if i'm down with it so much but we will see yeah, I think no, I think that's a fair. I, I can see exactly what you're saying. I, I I would have to listen to the album again to get a full like perspective on that. I don't think I've ever actually listened to their album sequentially before, so I think I'd have to do that to get a full idea of um which uh which direction I think they're going in. But okay, I mean, I would say on an individual basis, I liked the song very much. So I thought it was cool. I've listened to it quite a few times since it came out. That's my feeling. I get the feeling that um, Neon's waiting for us to talk about a song that maybe he's listened to a little bit more. So, <laughs> I think as we've got a conclusion... No, 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 no. I'm just taking a bit of a backseat for this one. It's nice, it's nice hearing uh, you two have an exchange. Yeah, yeah but I, got I think we said everything. When you say so. that, you mean Benedict. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Benedict's been able to talk. That's that, that's the main thing. I don't give a shit about you, guys. Yeah, yeah, just Benedict time. being able to uh, like, have a that's bit special. of time. <laughs> um, opinions on Koi Ai. I, I haven't heard that one yet. So me neither. I told you. Oh, yeah, I thought that was good. I thought you metalheads would be jumping down my throat to talk about Koi Ai, the new collaboration between Nemophila's guitarist Hazuki, along with um, Lisa X and a bunch of other people who are famous in the uh, metal world. All right, well, it's, it's some... reaction night for me tonight, so I, I imagine that would true probably metal, pop up. True metalhead here. So I'm wearing my Trident shirt, but still, I'm going to say true metalhead. <laughs> I've been listening to that Trident album a lot, actually. I've Me been, too. Yeah. Actually, you really got into it. It's great. I, I still think that Dream Up is probably... I still think I prefer Dream Up. Um, I don't. It's very difficult for me to, like... Um, I think it's very... Because those three... Like, we, you were talking about this with me, and we were trying to compare them, like, the three mini albums. And you got DX, you got Dream Up, and you got Spice X. And, like... I don't know. Well, D DX is really good as well. I I think the problem is ultimately the biggest problem is is that like um like DX and Dream Up have got some absolutely top notch songs on them, and like maybe I just need longer to get used to Spice X. And it's like comparing a nine out of ten to a ten out of ten. It is like no yeah. is no damnation to say of the three of them. It's probably not the one that's grabbed me as much. I think like Nocturne is like such a good song. Yeah, that, really. like that song alone has got me like really high up on the ratings. Just getting Nocturne in but there. But also like, all the other songs, even I can, I kind of like now after hearing it a couple of times. I know Neon is already playing some game. <laughs> no, it's, it's, he's, he's Have you heard porn. Spice X? He's looking for porn near him. Single ladies <laughs> near him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Haven't you um, heard Spice X, Neon? I didn't. Um... I haven't no, I'm not, I've heard some of the songs from the album, but I've not heard the entire oh, album. That I was visual actually, K band you're really into. I the visual K band I'm really into, yeah. Um <laughs> I was thinking about doing an <laughs> album review for now. the uh, for the mini album, so I haven't got round to it just because it's in the on the back burner of things I've yet to do. Um, I've been really ill as well for the past two weeks, so there's a lot of things I haven't got round to uh, as well, and that is one of them. But what did you come around to listen to? Yeah, what 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 Hit us with a song. Um, believe it or not, I've been listening to a lot of Hazaki recently. Um she or or him, depending on depending on which side you want to you want to say. Uh, I've been doing a lot of instrumental wait, stuff. Wait, wait, who who is this person? I'm gonna have to Google this person right now. Hezaki? Hazaki? Hezaki? Uh H I Z A K I. Z A K I. Hazaki. Okay, Japanese musician and songwriter. Okay. So um, he or, or she, I'm going to refer to she, uh, has been releasing a um, a, lot of, a lot of instrumental songs recently. Uh, Jill uh, from um, Unlocking Morpheus has just been on the latest one. So I've been listening to a lot of that recently. It's been really, really good. And as a, like I said, Benedict as well as an instrumental uh, musician, uh, Hazaki uh, would be a really, really good influence if you uh, got around to that. Uh, I'm going to save you a little bit. I'm going to save you a little bit of the um uh, the concern there. I just <laughs> quickly Googled it. Apparently, Hizaki, um down at least under Wikipedia as he. So, okay. He is. He. Uh, they, that's, that's the one you're safe to use. Um, <laughs> if Wikipedia says so, it has to be true. Has well, to be true. Uh, look, 
at least if, if Wikipedia says it, at least we got some backup. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So um, apparently was in Versailles. Oh, in Versailles since 2007. Jupiter is 2013 and sulfuric acid from 2003 to 2004. I mean, if you're in sulfuric acid for a year, that's going to really fuck you up, you know. So <laughs> I mean, that's a long time. I'm pretty impressed if you can come out of sulfuric acid and you're still able to play guitar. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> tough person. Uh, <laughs> also, because of the kids, or uh, what's, well, I suppose this is a, uh, a way of showing what's popular at the minute. But if I have to listen to fucking creepy nuts one more goddamn time. <laughs> my kids have non-stop been playing that for like literally two three weeks straight Ew. really wow. go to uh, pan yeah all right uh, i didn't know that i'd broken out that's yeah. amazing yeah kid my Who's, kids have literally i haven't heard this who which artist uh, uh creepy nuts. Um, so, oh, that's the artist. <laughs> the, yeah, the song, the song, blim blam 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 blim blim. blim um, it's been covered by everyone. Everybody. Like everyone's covered it. Um, one of my favorite versions of it, like there's two versions I really like, and I got to be honest, again, I think it's one of those ones where. So the original rapper who did it, like the guy in Creepy Nuts who rapped it, he's actually a good rapper. You know, we talk about it sometimes. You get people rapping who are not you know they're just kind of like doing it because they know how to rhyme some words over a beat like he's a proper rapper and he just did one of those verses you know like people can always talk about those certain verses you remember that just ones that get stuck in your head and he did like this just brilliant verse and so many people have done cover versions of it but there's been some great ones like there was a um there's a i'll try, I'll try and find it there's a version by there's these two girls in uh who do a youtube channel in japan they're two like young women they do this uh, youtube channel where they do like nice little nursery rhymes and stuff and they did like a full version of this together and it was absolutely insane um and uh so there's like a cover by them there was a cover by the vtuber um uh p maru summer she did a brilliant cover of it there's just been some fantastic ones. yeah the p maru summer one her covers got 3.4 million views um like every cover is getting like millions of views it's yes. just like it's going down so well um but yeah this has been out for a couple of months now this song and um just everyone's doing a version of it yeah it's been out for, it's been out for a couple of months but the the power is still there at the minute kind of reminds me of what like gandam star was back in the day where that was just like popular everywhere and this creepy nut song is kind of but i wouldn't say it's in that same ballpark of Completely, but um, it's very popular, freaking everywhere. Yeah, right yeah it, it's yeah, uh, absolutely know. one of those. Sometimes things. this really popular stuff just goes by you, like the USOB Idol song, for example. Yeah, so, I was really yeah. surprised. I saw your reaction to that recently, and I couldn't believe how recently the first time. I was really surprised you were watching it. You're like, so I don't know who this Yo Sobi was. I was like, dude, we've talked about Lil Kuta so many fucking Yeah, times, you talked dude. about it. I was sitting here and okay. Well, it's, at least now I know that you're not fucking listening when I'm talking. <laughs> Wait, what, what was that? Alex? What did you say, don't man? know anything. <laughs> uh, I've been listening to a lot of Z uh, Zito Mero as well recently. That's a, that's another artist I've been uh, quite just vibing off recently, which has been quite cool. So I need a bit more. Laid back and poppy. Be so more... Have you heard the new Lisa song? Because I, I have. I, I, I had Serenade. I had a. I have had mixed thoughts on the new Lisa stuff recently. I've oh been, really? Yeah, I've been kind of. Because to me, you know, after the one song I did where you scolded me for my song choice, <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to Shouted Serenade. I was like, mm. okay, I know what Neon was talking about, but this is not like her usual stuff. Um, it is, it is, and it's it's a pretty scaled back. I think the new Lisa stuff scaled I, it, back. It, scaled back, yeah. It's it's kind of her, but it's not like it's pretty intense to me. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, I suppose so. Um, but yeah, I, we'll have I, to I check out know. her other stuff. I got I got mixed I got mixed thoughts as well. I I reacted to uh, hallucinate recently, and I thought that was sort of okay. <laughs> um. Or, may, or, may, or maybe slipping. it's just me. Maybe I just got like so used to the craziness with Lisa that she just needs to like do something absolutely, you know, manic to like for me to be like, oh, I'm shocked by this. 
I don't know. It sounds like neon's been treated too much. Yeah, so. yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's just it. Maybe I'm just maybe I just entertain me more. I know. You might have 10 billion listeners, but I'm not entertained enough. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> Do you know what? If Lisa came song, around to your house and shouted that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Just like the new warning at Bandmate song. Just, it's okay. <laughs> just because you know everything by them. <laughs> well, I think it is true to say that, I mean, one of the interesting things when, when bands come out with songs is that the 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 precedent of how good you expect them to be is really interesting. Like I was listening to a couple of um relatively relatively unheard bands, and you guys know I, I work with a lot of the unsigned bands, and there was like Kaleidoscope, Mad Sister. They both had two songs come out recently, which um probably I'm guessing no one's heard, and they were just really so creative. But they're the sort of things that if they come out of like really famous bands who've been around for 10 years, I'd maybe hold them to a different standard. But just listening to them as they were, I was like, there's a lot of potential in this. But I guess when a band's been around for years and you've hit, heard them time after time express their potential, you're always like, okay, you know, you're happy if they achieve what you know they can do. You're disappointed if they fall short. And you're always secretly wanting them to be that little bit better than the thing they did before, despite knowing that they've already pleased you. You want the feeling from the better. past that you can't get anymore. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it is. You want that dopamine hit, don't you? You want that. What you want that? Uh, that feeling again. So, um, just out of interest, Neon, who of us is going to call Lisa and tell her that she didn't give you the enough dopamine hit this time around? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll, t- I'll, tell number, her, I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell myself. <laughs> no, I, I. I. I think it's good. I just compared to some yeah. of the older stuff. I was. I was just. I was like, it's okay. It's good, but it's not. It's That's not interesting. Fuck. Because for me, as someone who didn't know anything from her like that, that was quite impressive. Mm, yeah, there, there's some songs you need to listen to. Then I absolutely just like, absolutely amazing from her. So I think I, I I probably think the most famous one that many people probably know Lisa for is obviously the uh, the the opening to the uh, Demon Slayer song, which I can mm. never remember the name of. Yeah, yeah, um, I know which you mean? Yeah, so most people know her from that. I That's... find Lisa's quite interesting though because I think she's got such a, a wealth of songs in her catalog that it's kind of hard to really know where to begin, and you really have to listen to a lot before you even start to build up an idea of what her music is. And Those I, are the I best both, artists, in my opinion. Well, I, I both respect that, but the problem is I don't know, um, and I'm going to get a lot of hate if I say this wrongly, so I'll say it carefully. I'm not sure if she writes all of her own material, and if she does write all of her songs, I'm not sure to what extent she writes them. Um, and therefore, you know, so it's like when we look at, like, if you get a band, like, okay, I'm going to go really obvious. Like, if you look at the Beatles or something like or the Queen, Queen. Not the Queen, Queen. Um, when you listen, we to look those at the Queen. Bands, <laughs> look at the Queen. When when you look at these bands, a lot of the reasons why their reputation was so big all those years ago is because their variation, well, it was obviously coming from them. They did so many different things. Whereas um, when it comes from Lisa, it's like if she's writing all of these songs and she's arranging these really different songs, then yeah, that's incredible. If not, then you kind of wonder, is that kind of like the pop star thing where pop stars tend to have like different eras where their songs completely change just because they got the right people around them to tell them what's currently the thing to do. Um, so I don't know with Lisa. I really don't know that. And that's one of maybe the things that makes it difficult for me to know where to access her. But like if you them. just focus on it musically, it doesn't really matter who wrote the songs, right? In theory, no, but I mean, the thing is, is that there can be a consistency of quality. So you get some some artists who are really good during a certain period of their career and then really suck during another period of their career because they just didn't have the right people anymore. You know, there was just certain writers who they worked with who made them great and certain writers who they wrote with who were just like were, you know, so for example, I mean, you get certain people who they'll work with a writer who's a really good songwriter and they'll deliver great hits. But then maybe they'll work with the next person to work with is not so much a songwriter as a producer, a beat maker, and who will just do give them four chord repetitive things. And they'll still have really big hits. But now the songs are not quite so timeless anymore. They're just surefire hit singles. Um, I mean, that's so- one way it can go. It could also go the baby metal way. Where yeah, yeah. They also I- have a lot of different songwriters and just everything brings something new and fresh to the table. 
Yeah, yeah but mean, it, it's still all funnels through Cobra, though. Like, Cobra's still the pinnacle point of that one. I mean, I we it, can I get into so that. <laughs> I don't think it's so much that it, it filters through Cobra. I just think it's the fact that they know that their audience, as a general, is not, like, TikTok watching, top 40 listening kind of um, teenage girls. It's like their audience, as a general, not, has, like... I'm out of here. What's the What was that? All good. <laughs> I'm just alienating our like, younger audience. Is that what our people. audience is not, little teenage girls? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God, Benedict! You want to reword that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just I, like to come out now uh, and just say that I'm not into... <laughs> as, as, I'm obligated as to tell you... former <laughs> lawyer, as of two seconds ago... Um, <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! But I, I, yeah. Okay, I, where do we go from here? Quickly, somebody say something. I'm a joke. I, I do get what you mean though, which is that, like, I mean, in the same way that we as a channel and like artists as a general, you have to kind of appeal to everyone, including a younger audience, because mm. let's face it, like younger audiences are going to be around longer. And that's, that's <laughs> like, oh, wow, we just go from like just taking a piss out of them. No, now we're taking a piss out of our older audience as well. Fucking yeah, exactly. morbid. We have no audience. Jesus <laughs> Christ! We can't have anybody. They all died. This. <laughs> We've already taken the piss out of the younger audience, the older audience. Fucking I... hell! There you go. I told you I'd take the heat off of you, Benedict. No one can even remember what you said. Thank now. you very much. <laughs> Job well done. <laughs> But no, I mean, in all fairness, though, it's one of those things where you have to appeal to a wide set of people. You have to appeal to a wide audience. And yeah, I've completely forgot what the point I was going to make was, but I thought I'd keep on talking just to move this conversation along. Towards Nothing the about teenage girls. That's right. I'm right, getting my lawyers in after this, really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's <laughs> move quickly <laughs> on. Every time we move it's on, you can cry. Stop bringing it back! <laughs> well, it's, oh yes, we were talking. That's right, we were talking about songwriting. Like you want songwriters to like focus on doing songs. Ultimately, most people, if you want songs with longevity, if you want a proper audience, we're gonna stay with you. You want songs that are written properly, not just sort of like here is a catchy four chord hook. Sing something catchy over this and show your face and maybe a bit of your ass and you will be super popular. You know, you want something a little bit more imaginative than that. Um, and so when the songwriter is responsible for their songs, yeah, I don't mind people writing, uh, recording songs written by other people, but when you record songs written by yourself, you just kind of know that at least there's always that the artist, the person who you aspire to listening to, look up to, that person is the person who assures the songs are all up to standard. Whereas, um, so like I said, when I listen to someone like Lisa, I mean, she is a fucking music legend. She's a legend of the industry here. She's like one of the biggest people ever to do music in Japan. And yet, because I'm not massively like a follower of hers, I don't know whether her quality of music is just because she's always around good people or whether, and if I knew that she was always writing her own songs, I think it would make it easier for me to go, wait, I like this song, so it's worth me listening to more because they're all going to probably be that good in different ways. That was my point before we got into all the fucking alienating our audience. No one heard the end of my point because everyone's tuned out by now. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> If, the, if, there's anybody, if there's anybody in. else left watching this one. <laughs> no, one's, no one's watching it. No one's watching. <laughs> I'm going to wake up tomorrow. We're going to go from like 700 subscribers to like 100. I'll be like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but one thing we'll know is those 100 people left will have very dubious opinions. No, those are just 100 people that haven't clicked on the video yet. Talking they, about they haven't teenagers. Watched yet. Oh, Don't, worry. Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. I bet that's what I'm saying. It. I've heard an, uh, weird <laughs> about news. Oh, that's no, 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 no. It's, not, it's nothing speak. bad. We might, we might as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you, are you all right, Howard? No. <laughs> you said you wanted to hear more of Benedict. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now I know why we don't that's hear more from Benedict. That's Jesus. what you get. <laughs> right. Benedict, talking of teenage girls. <laughs> no, but actually, I, I've read a, I saw a message that there will be a Kiari Pamio Pamio skin in Fortnite, I think. Oh, yes. Which I thought was, what? Okay. 
I didn't know anyone knew Kiari Pamiyo Pamiyo outside of Japan. I'm not sure if Fortnite is that big in Japan. Yeah. So, um, so well, the funny thing is, is that other games are more popular than Fortnite in Japan. But Kiari Pamiyo Pami, like, got she got really, really popular for um for like uh pom 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 was like that was a that was like one of the original viral hits yeah, but for still Japan. like really really popular like so far i've seen like batman superman skin or i don't know really popular stuff you know some goku stuff like that i think basically, Pamyo Pamyo. <laughs> i think curry pami pami is big enough that if they're trying to get like japanese audience more into fortnite there's already people who play it here but they're trying to get more into it that might be a good way of tempting more in i should point out that as far as i'm aware from following the baby metal and I might be wrong. If it's a different game, I apologize. But I believe the Baby Metal have Gimme Chocolate is now going to be playing in like, there's like one of the vehicles, I think in Fortnite, it might be a different game. I think in Fortnite, there's a vehicle where Gimme Chocolate plays on the inside. So you could theoretically have the Kyari Pami Pami skin mm -hmm. and get into a, like one of the vehicles which will play a Baby Metal song. And then you could full on weep the fuck out into victory. I am. I there. mean, I totally, I, I love that they will bring more attention to Japanese music scene in general. But it's also like I'm wondering, I'm imagining like some 14 year old kid playing Fortnite, going into the store and seeing like a Kiyoti Pamiyo Pamiyo skin. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, this is what your parents are into. <laughs> the boomers have spoken. This is what you're going to be into in the future. <laughs> <laughs> like that, well that that song was like a massive hit in 2012 so it's like 12 years ago now so it's like yeah it's like kids would be playing fortnite who weren't even born when that happened yeah i just just did just did a quick google search there you can indeed uh didn't know that big metal in uh fortnite wow didn't oh it did, did it? yeah yeah, oh. yeah apparently so <laughs> Neon, Neon is gonna play it. This still not gonna make me play it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with Benedict on that one. Yeah, install it one time it. and check out that card and the install it. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be me, like in my Kyari Pami Pami skin, sitting inside the Babe Metal bus, while lots of like little twelve year olds shout racist things down the chat and shoot me. <laughs> that, that's what it's gonna be. That's nah, nah, it's, gonna it's, be. All, it's all bots these days. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I, so I, I, I literally, I, the last time I played Fortnite was like um, just just to play one game with the Xenomorph skin, and then after that, that was it. <laughs> I uninstalled it after that. I don't think I've ever played Fortnite before, to be honest. So then you live a better life than the rest of us. No, so yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I think I've got. <laughs> I don't even think I've got the graphics card requirements to play Fortnite, and that game's like two decades old. Can you play <laughs> Fortnite on your phone? <laughs> even. Dude, I have. Have you seen how it's phone? <laughs> I have quite yeah. far have away you seen phone. My phone, my phone does not do anything. Anything. I'm what not better than you. It's also uh, really... oh, man. Well, it's, it's already it broken. I, 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 I feel like I'm the good one then with a. Uh... He's got a woman on his phone. <gasps> that's, other people. That's he the girlfriend. Other people. That's ah! the. That's the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> So, but uh, yeah, let, let us know in the comments as well. What have you been listening to recently? Um, if there's any, what's your phone background? What's your phone background? Yeah, yeah that would be interesting as well. What do you think of teenage? No, no, let's, let's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't, don't tell us in the comments what you think of teenage girls. <laughs> no, don't. We don't, we don't want to hear from if that's what you consider to be a contribution to chat, then please <laughs> chat to police or preferably you know, the controversy is where the views come from. Yeah, for the for the one time <laughs> I'm I'm asking the chat not to indulge. But well, or the channel yeah. ban. Let's see. Please, uh, well, we would be really interested to know everything that you guys have been checking out as well. Thank you for all the love and support. Uh, make sure to leave a like on this video as well. Comment down below. Uh, we'll be sure to read out some of the most wackiest comments. Um, probably in a future video. We, we as might well. do. I can't guarantee we will, but we, we might, might do. do. Um, I, I just I, want to I, see everybody's response to Benedict's uh, teenage comment. I was just going. I was just going to say my 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 background is just my channel logo. So, um, nice. you know, promotion always, in, always in mind. Such a narcissist. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, I, I have, <laughs> I, I have to put the misses on there because if I don't, oh uh, shit, we got fifteen seconds alive. to go. Right. Right. Imaginary don't, misses. Don't All right. Keep your ears to the east. Also, neon does not this not condone the use of teenage girls in this video.